happy Sunday. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you don't know yet that I chopped my hair three inches. It's not that short, but it's shorter for me for sure because I've had long hair ever since pretty much middle school. I only would, would get trims and this is the first time I just felt the urge to just chop it off, get it healthy for the new year. So today we are going to do my Sunday reset routine. I love Sunday. Sundays is one of my favorite days of the week. I don't know what it is about it, even though Monday is the next day where you have to go to work. So you would think it would be like anxious for me. I usually use this time to just like really tidy up the house if it needs extra tidying up. I like to get my food prep ready and also self-care is so important for today. Let's get going. You gotta move, sweetie. Or I can make the bed over you. Okay, I'll make the bed over you because you look so snuggled. You look so snuggled. <laughs> In between doing my chores, I really like to watch YouTube on Sundays, and I've been really loving Kenzie Elizabeth's vlogs. I just think she's so natural with the camera. She shows a really good idea of what life is like, where she lives, and just like her hustle is very admirable. So I've been enjoying her vlogs, and I just wanted to highlight her on here. If you haven't heard of her already, my friend Taylor told me about her, and she really is fun to watch. This year, I'm finally going to do the one second a day challenge. I've been meaning to do it the last two years, where you film at least one second that brings you happiness in that day and then at the end of the year you're gonna have compilation of all these little bits of joy that you videotape so today I took one of the dogs while they were playing outside in the backyard so I'm just adding that into my little like video journal and it will have a date on it and everything so I'm going to make a point I've been really good this month to do that because I think it's gonna be really fun to look back on I realized I feel most put together when I have my nails done at least that's like one part of the equation so I went to go to the nail salon and I got my nails done. I didn't film it for the vlog because I filmed it for like a little reels but I did get a design which I normally don't do. I like the design just don't like the shape of the nails. I literally feel like they look like almonds or like witches nails or bear claws but it is what it is. I don't know whatever I just felt like you know I gotta try something different and I did and they're just weird but that's okay. Square and short might be the way to go next time. A little healthy snack that I wanted to share with you that I've been loving lately are these raw cashews and a few slices of the dried mango. These are my absolute favorite from Trader Joe's. The unsulfured and unsweetened particularly these because they have a few other but these are the best kind. And then these raw whole cashews. I could literally probably eat a whole bag of these cashews and a whole bag of these mangoes because them together are just fire. But, you know, it's a lot of calories and a lot of sugar. But this definitely helps my sweet tooth when it comes to gummies because I absolutely love gummy candy. I'm trying to, like, stay away from carbs and sugar as much as possible. But if I have a sweet tooth, this for me is, like, the healthy version to go. Ember is really invested in my snacks, so I'm going to probably put this away so he doesn't try to eat it. I feel like this day is lying by, even though I did get a lot of home stuff done, which is important. I think I decided that I'd rather do dishes and laundry and stuff at nighttime because I feel like, I don't know, this is where my mind is like so messed up because I feel like if I do it during the day, then I'm wasting the day and it's a beautiful day outside. Like it's 70 degrees here in January. I should be out on a hike. I should be doing things to enjoy the weather that I am given and I'm living in. But I feel like if I don't get it done in the morning, I worry throughout the day. Like I can't fully enjoy whatever I'm doing. If I know 
know I have things to get done. <sighs> so I feel like in order to like really fully enjoy whatever I'm doing, I have to get it done in the morning. I go back and forth also like Saturdays, I usually like to do like the tidying up and stuff like that and then be the girl on the go. But then on Sundays, sometimes I feel like just being a complete homebody on the go because I'm always literally going. Like even if I'm home, I'm moving around, getting things done, creating new projects, just like who I am. Even though it's weird because like I am a really chill person, but I like to be doing things. It doesn't have to be like extreme sports, but I like to be like putting my hands in things and doing projects and just like using my brain. Even though I can get sucked into scrolling the TikTok. Like last night was so bad. Like I couldn't stop scrolling. I literally could not stop scrolling. My finger was gonna fall off at this point. It's just so many funny things, so many things to learn in so little time. Do you remember that Mary Kay and Ashley TV show called So Little Time? To be a kid and not grow up with Mary Kay and Ashley, that's, that's tragic to me because they were everything. The reason why I even want a sibling was because of those twins. I just really wanted to trick someone and have them think it was me, but really it was my twin sister. A lot of girls out there can relate. I know you can. Speaking of Mary Kay and Ashley, I was thinking the other day that I would love to highlight on my vlogs a pop culture section because the fun thing about watching old nostalgic TV shows like Gilmore Girls, they were so good, especially that show, with putting in little pop culture references because you kind of can gauge what time period it was filmed in. And so I kind of want that for my vlogs. Like I want you guys to look back and think like, oh, that was going on during that time. So let's start right now. This week in pop culture, unfortunately, oh, I don't want to start with a bad one. Well, I'm already here. So unfortunately, Bob Saget passed away. My full house love and heart was last week. So there was that. Britney Spears and Jamie Lynn are going at each other's throats this week on social media. I mean, my goodness, I never want a family to have that kind of turmoil. That's terrible. Family should be your ride or die, but they certainly don't feel that way about each other and they are letting the whole entire public know about it. I think of something good that's happened. Let me look at my phone. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to mention this one. They drank each other's blood for Christ's sake. If you know what I'm talking about, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox got engaged, which I really like them as a couple. I just feel like they get each other's weirdness. They're good for each other. I'm here for it. I'm hoping they have a child. I just wanna see what that kid looks like, you know? That's something that I always think about and I tell Ryan, like, I wanna have so many children just so I can see the multiple combinations of how they would come out. Probably not the reason why you should have children, but it's definitely a thought that crosses my mind. Anyways, all right, so let's end the pop culture with Kaylee here. Definitely gonna be bringing back this segment in another vlog, but in the meantime, I need to do some self-care. We're gonna start with getting a workout in because I just need to sweat it out. I have been in these lounge clothes all day long, which by the way, I'm loving the sets from Amazon Fashion. They are so affordable, and this lounge set is so comfy, and I get so many compliments on it. I will link my Amazon storefront down in the description box, and then this top is not a part of the set. It's actually from Miss Lola, which I really love that boutique store. If you've never stumbled upon it and you're looking for like, it's a little pricier, it's in the middle I would say, but every time I order from them, it's really good quality. And I just, you know, love being comfy cozy on a Sunday. Things are gonna change in 2022, that's a for sure. I am a sweaty mess, but you know what? I need the food prep. Trying to be really good about planning out my meals for the week. Typically, in the past, I've been kind of doing this thing that I learned from the Food Nanny about creating a family theme night. So each night is a different theme, like um, comfort food night, Mexican night. What else did I have? Um, grill night. There's so many different ways you can like look forward to different dinners. And that way you're not feeling like you're eating the same stuff over and over again. But sometimes when you're trying to lose weight, eating the same thing over and over again can be really beneficial for people. For me, I go back and forth between like what I feel works for me. But right now, I'm just gonna go with how I'm feeling. And right now I feel like I need to stick with, you know, 
a few of the same meals on rotation and not get too creative with it because when I get creative, I realize that's when I start to get off track. I wrote down what I want this week's meals to look like. For breakfast, I'm gonna stick with the Fab Four smoothie. I've been really enjoying that. For lunch, I'm gonna go with the Greek salad. That is my go-to and I really do look forward to that salad, but I feel like I need a little something, something on the side of it. So if I have a kombucha, that definitely like makes it feel like something fancy. I don't know. <laughs> and then for a snack, I'm gonna go with the matcha chia seed pudding that we made in the last vlog, or it was the vlog before that. And then I could also like switch up my snack and maybe have like a piece of sourdough toast with some like high quality butter or honey or jam, like depending if I'm feeling like I need something, something, that's a good snack. And then I can have a handful of nuts if I want to for my snack. But I'm gonna try nut snack as much as possible because you know me, I love my snickety snacks. And that's where I think I really stray and end up gaining the weight because I can snack like nobody's business. And then I'm like, whoa, there's my business in the back. It's my booty. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna stick with that. And then for dinners, we're going to stick with protein and vegetables. Uh, I try to stick to fish as much as possible. Ryan and I just have not been liking chicken at all lately. You know, the thing about me is like, I really like eating how I feel that day. It's hard for me to stick to something I plan to because I'm very like intuitive eating. I want to eat what I want when I want it, which I don't know, it's good and bad. Anyway, so those are the meals for this week. And then of course, like if I want a carb at night and I'm working out really hard, I'm gonna have a sweet potato or a baked potato. Just keep it a really healthy carb. Don't, don't limit yourself to carbs. You don't have to do that. If you're working out and really trying to eat like 80% healthy, live your life. Life is short. Enjoy an almond butter chocolate cup if you want, you know? I always feel like when I'm talking about food and how I'm trying to lose weight, it's such a touchy subject, right? Because some people look at me and they're like, why is she saying she needs to lose weight? She doesn't need to lose weight. She looks great. But I mainly focus on the fact that like, I don't like how I feel. Of course I want to look a certain way to boost my self-esteem. That is a reality that a lot of people try to like pretend that they don't care about, but it's normal for people to want to look a certain way too. But I also would rather look like a snaggletooth witch, and that means I get to live a lot longer than the person who just looks good because I'm healthy and I feel healthy. And it's just been a really hard balance for me getting a good relationship with food where I eat the things that I want, but I also eat the healthy things and then look in the mirror and feel good about myself. I feel like most of the time I have this like mental struggle with it's either like I'm being super restrictive and I love the way I look but I don't like my day-to-day -day lifestyle because I'm not enjoying the food which to me like food should be so enjoyable and I'm not enjoying the food because I either haven't figured out how to make healthy meals that I'm excited about or I just don't really like eating healthy and I would rather eat the more fun things you know it's just a struggle that I go through and I know many people go through and I just want to say on here like just be kind to yourself be kind to others when they're talking about this like I know a lot of the time I'll look at a girl who's way skinnier than me and like literally physically skinnier than me it's not like I'm just like making it up my head like she is physically skinnier than me and I think like oh my gosh I want to look like her but how do I know that that is actually a healthy weight I don't know what she's doing in order to look like that that may not be genetics she may be doing things that she shouldn't be doing in order to look like that you always have to do that approach because it's so easy to get in these narratives and create things that you think are real that may not be at all so I don't know I just felt the need to put that in here because I need the reminder a lot of the times and maybe you guys, my friends, might need the reminder too. What I do need to do is start the food prepping process and then I really need some self-care. I need to unwind, relax, so that this week is smooth sailing.
For Sunday dinner, we're keeping it pretty simple. And on Sundays, I always feel like I need comfort food. So I thought steak would be a good idea. I marinated this, marinated this overnight. And then I paired it with the Trader Joe's cauliflower mash. That was really easy to whip up. It was in the frozen section. And I thought it would be a good alternative to keeping lower carbs. And usually I do like a whole chicken with potatoes and carrots and onions. But I didn't get to the store today, which is unlike me. Because I usually go to the store on Sunday. So I'm just using whatever I have in my fridge today. Any Time I do some self care, I've got to include my essential oils. So I'm using this Young Living Aroma Ease. It has like a really nice, like pepperminty eucalyptus, eucalyptus blend, not eucalyptus. <laughs> Anyways, it just smells really calming, so we're gonna put this in the diffuser. Just a few drops, like two or three. No, let's do five. It's gonna be really zen up in here. I always put the purple light on. I just feel like it's very vibey and just really sets the tone for the zone. Whoa, that ring light is bright. Just finished cleansing my face with the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I really love this cleanser. It's usually my morning cleanser. I just grabbed it right now. I usually use the Tatcha cleanser for nighttime and this, like I said, in the morning. I love the combo of the two. I also really enjoy the Fresh Soy Cleanser. That is really good for my skin and my skin is pretty dry and sensitive and those three have just been my absolute go-to's i usually just do not stray so i'm going to show you like a little bit of how i like to do my nighttime routine it really is like therapeutic for me to just unwind and like take my time with my skin right now i'm loving this core organics resurfacing serum just put two pumps of it on my face and i feel like it just create such a really smooth looking texture and all of her products have such lovely like aromatherapy so it's very enjoyable to smell. Don't forget your neck. A little extra for the neck. Ignore the splotchy self tanner. I put on the Lux Unfiltered so I thought I was putting on the body cream but I ended up putting on the self tanner and not realizing it so I clearly like wasn't exfoliated properly. This is the one that I was supposed to put on and I actually really enjoy the color that it gave me. I don't enjoy the splotchiness and that's not the product's fault. It's my fault because I am a silly goose and literally thought I was just putting on the lotion. My face moisturizer. This one is actually not my nighttime. It is my morning moisturizer, which I'm obsessed with. The texture of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream is God's gift to this earth or face. It is so, it's almost like souffle, like I love it. And it works wonderfully underneath your makeup. This and then probably the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream are my two favorite morning moisturizers. My skin loves the Tasha Duty Cream. I'm all out of it, so I have to go pick more up. But this will do for now because my skin also really enjoys this. I just go in with a second coat because I really like to go heavy with my moisturizers and serums at night because I feel like my skin throughout the night really just soaks up all the product. And I always rub it into my lips. This is my face oil that I've been loving. I can't open it because my hands are so lotion-y Let's see if I can open it now. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Augustinus Bader. Pat it lightly onto my skin. Oh my gosh, this oil works like an absolute charm to make me look like a glazed donut. And that's what I want to look like at night. A fully slathered glazed donut fresh out the oven. If you need your lips looking juicy and not crusty, this, my friends, is the way to go. I get it in the vanilla. I want to try the mint flavor, but vanilla is like standard. I also tried the bubble gum. My husband loves the smell of the bubble gum, but I didn't really love it. Anytime I wear this lip gloss at night and I'm on my Instagram stories, I will for sure get one DM asking, what do you have on your lips? They look so shiny. So now for the fun part, I'm going to use this baby foot. If you've never heard of this product, it is amazing. I use it twice a year in January and in July. And I'm telling you, if you have calluses, if you have really thick skin on your feet and you just like can't figure out how to get rid of the dead skin, this is what you need. 
So I put on the booties that they provide and they say to let it sit for an hour and I'll take them off, wash my feet off and then in two weeks they'll start to peel and even though it's so gross, it's extremely satisfying and your feet literally will feel like baby feet. Ryan is over here with Stormy. Just a little sneak peek in my vlog since you guys never see him. You probably don't even think he's real but he's here. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I feel prepared for the week. Ember is squeaking away with his little avocado toy so he's having a ball. It's time to wrap it up for him too so that we can all get a good night's sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!